Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the new Eufy 2K video doorbell. Uh, it's my new doorbell slash security system and maybe we can decide if this might be a good option for your home as well. So let's jump in and have a look. So before we get into the main part of the video, I want to talk briefly about why I chose this doorbell. And just so that you know, um, I've had this thing for six months, so I can talk with some authority about the idiosyncrasies, pros and cons, and I can tell you that this doorbell uh, hasn't disappointed me yet. It has one little idiosyncrasy um, that I, I sort of researched in the chat to see what was going on, and I'll talk about that uh, in the video. But if you're looking for a doorbell, uh, for the same reasons that I did and that's because I did such a good job soundproofing my office that I literally don't know what's going on at the front door of my house until I come upstairs for a coffee break and it, You know somebody could walk in murder my wife and steal all my stuff and I wouldn't know about it until I came upstairs um, And maybe I'm being a little over dramatic. Okay <laughs> But uh, you know that was the reason for purchasing the doorbell and when I started doing research I hate subscription fees with a passion and uh, probably some of you do uh, as well so I wanted something that was basically plug and play I could plug it on to the two existing doorbell wires at the front door um, it, it would give me a nice sounding doorbell with a few options it would integrate with my iPhone I wanted something that would give me an immediate visual representation when somebody was coming to the house even if it was one of those Amazon uh, delivery ninjas that you know they move so fast these days they just drop throw the thing at your front door and, and uh, don't even ring the doorbell in some cases and this system will give me you know gives me all of that and then some and so that's what we're going to cover in this video so now you know why i made this purchase now let's get in and take a look at some of the details and you'll be able to decide whether this is the system for you or maybe you're going to look at something else so let's do a quick rundown on the key features of the eufy system first of all the cost is reasonable at 160 dollars us installation is easy uh, if you can handle a number two Phillips screwdriver, you can handle the installation uh, for this kit for sure. The video quality is quite good, 2K compared to 1080p. Nice sounding doorbell with several options. Uh, it integrates with your smartphone. There's no subscription fees, thank you God. <laughs> a 30 day money back guarantee, a no hassle warranty, and lifetime support. So right out of the box, there's a lot of reasons to like this system. So now let's run down the best features of the Eufy system. Starting in the top left here, uh, the Eufy system proffers a higher resolution than most other um, security doorbells. So instead of 1080, you're getting uh, 2560 by 920. So it's basically four by three aspect ratios compared to 1080, which gives you better overall performance. Uh, just on the moving on to the right here, local storage, you don't have to pay uh, subscription fee to have your video footage stored anywhere else it's stored on the Eufy system um, which is great no additional fees I love it okay moving right along the Eufy system will pick up humans as opposed to animals so you're not getting false alarms um, you also have two-way communication you'll actually get an indication on your phone as you can see down here in the bottom right at which time you can communicate with the person that's at your front door which is really cool and then just over on the right here, this system is totally weatherproof. Uh, you're looking at minus 4 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And one of the things that happened to me was shortly after I installed my Eufy system, I had some uh, a company come and wash my house down with a high-pressure jet washer. And the Eufy system stood up to that, which uh, really impressed me. So that, that's a good thing. So this thing is designed to be uh, outdoors and stand up to the weather. Down here on the bottom left, this is a feature, uh, this is zone configuration or smart zones, if you will. This is really handy in my case. I'll show you a picture where I had a canna lily on the front porch and the leaves were, whenever the wind blew, the, leave would, the leaves would be blowing in front of the camera and give me a false indication. And so you can adjust the zones um, of your system so that you can eliminate uh, small anomalies like that. Now, what I did was just move the canna lily plant out of the way so it wasn't interfering with the camera, but you do have uh, some good adjustability and I found that a very handy feature. 
Another really handy feature is that the Eufy system will allow you to see three seconds before the actual alert, which gives you a little bit of help in determining what's going at the front door, what's going on at the front door uh, in regards to is this a legitimate, you know, a child coming to the door or is, is it a thief trying to steal your Amazon package? So it's very helpful that way. Another feature that you have, the Eufy system will allow you to pre-record three uh, different responses. So if you get caught off guard, um, you can simply click on one of the responses here and answer the person that's at the front door. And it's really handy for pizza delivery, that kind of thing. Uh, next on the, on the right hand side here, the Eufy system integrates with Google or Alexa. So if you're a, a smart home uh, person, if you're motivated in that direction, then you've got that uh, compatibility as well. And then last but not least, this is an indication of what you'll actually see on your smartphone. Uh, when the, the second that somebody comes up to your doorbell and the alert is triggered, you'll get a little tab like this and you can see a picture of who's at the front door and then you simply tap on this if you want to communicate with them and uh, you can go from there. So quite a wide range of handy features for sure. In this image, you can see the Eufy doorbell system or the doorbell mounted on my front door. Um, it's a nice looking piece of kit and it comes with a little adapter that you're gonna see in a second, but uh, it's very inconspicuous and out of the way and you'll see this blue uh, LED ring around it. And by the way, the system does work in infrared at nighttime, so that's another great feature I failed to mention earlier. Um, so once again, just a ton of uh, great functionality from this unit for sure. So in this shot, you can see why I said earlier that if you can handle a number two Phillips screwdriver, you can install this system. So there's really two things that are a little bit technical for the installation. And, and this is the first part here. Basically, you're gonna take this wedge-shaped mounting piece and mount it onto your door trim with the two uh, supplied uh, Phillips screws. And then uh, you've got your wires coming out of the trim from the existing doorbell and two more Phillips screws that they connect on here. And then uh, really all you're going to do is push the wires. These are fairly stiff wires, so you're going to push them back into the trim. And there's two little uh, holes or slots here that hook onto the top first. So you clip it on the top and then snap it in at the bottom. And uh, very straightforward to uh, do this installation. Because the Eufy system um, doesn't use the existing doorbell, they supply you with a little black jumper wire. That's it here with the dotted uh, orange lines there. And basically you just take this and loosen these two screws here and install the jumper wire and then put your cover back on. And that's really all you have to do um, uh, with your existing system. You don't have to disconnect it, nothing like that. Just install this one jumper wire and you're done. Easy peasy. So last but not least, this is the actual Eufy doorbell that's supplied, comes in the kit and you simply plug it into the outlet. You download the app to your smartphone and then you initiate the pairing sequence. And once the pairing sequence is completed, your whole system is set up and, and ready to go. Um, and then it, it just takes a little bit of uh, getting up to speed with how to use it on your part, uh, just trial and error. Uh, really easy to do and nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, perfect, look at this loser. The video's pixelated a little bit because it's a copy of a copy, but nothing to worry about. Oh, the door's locked. Thank God we didn't let this loser in. <laughs> so here's the missus going out to work in the morning. And if you notice, I left the, uh, this is exactly what you're gonna see from the Eufy camera. So it gives you the date and the timestamp AM, and you notice it's square, it doesn't fit into the 1080p shape. And that's what uh, gives you the little better resolution and visibility, clearer picture from this uh, Eufy system. So here's a perfect example of a delivery guy dropping something off for me. I pixelated the face uh, so I don't get uh, in trouble from YouTube or anybody else and I don't wanna, I wanna maintain the guy's privacy. 
Uh, he's a good guy, comes to my house all the time with different deliveries. But you can see, uh, you know, the sharpness in the video. This is a, a bright sunny day and there's yours truly. The delivery guy's pulling out and yours truly's pulling in. So it, it gives you a really good sense of what's going on out the front of your house uh, like I never had before. Okay, so in closing, the one thing I didn't mention, and it was one anomaly that I've experienced with the Eufy doorbell, and that has been over a six-month period, maybe twice in the middle of the night, the doorbell has gone off. And, you know, the first time it happened, I jumped up and ran to the door, and, of course, there was nobody there. And, you know, your first thought is kids. And then uh, maybe a, a month later, it happened again. So then, I, you know, I got off my butt and did a little bit of reading, and um, it seems that high, high, high humidity um, can cause problems for the doorbell. But um, when I started thinking about it, uh, the weather in my area, which is north of Toronto in the last month, I mean, we've seen humidity levels, humidex levels just off the, the grid, really unusual summer, really hot and humid summer. Um, you know, kind of like Miami weather or Cuba weather, uh, you know, super hot and humid. Um, the other thing I thought too was that because those guys came and did the high pressure wash on my, uh, you know, they, they probably did just sprayed right over top of the doorbell, didn't even notice it. But I took the doorbell off, took a look at it to check and see if there was any moisture in there. I didn't find anything. And that is the only uh, complaint slash concern that uh, I've had in six months of use with this thing. I absolutely love it. You know, if you're thinking of a video doorbell, just go get one. You'll be happy with this thing. You know, ease of installation, cost, uh, you don't have to pay the monthly fees. I can't say enough about it. So um, if you don't have the gist of uh, the Eufy 2K video doorbell by now, after watching all the stuff in this video, uh, the only thing I can suggest is go to the website. There might be a couple of details I missed, but uh, yeah, just go get one, man. Okay, uh, so that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And watch out for that COVID thing, because the Delta variant is raging. Get yourself vaccinated, uh, take care of yourself, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, bye for now.